In this video, we're going to learn how to properly execute the peel-off method for cooking grains. Uh, today we're going to be using a long grain rice, but we can apply this method uh, to a wide variety of grains. All right. So to start, we're going to sweat our aromatics, in this case we're just using onion, uh, in some clarified butter. Um, if I was going to use any other aromatic, if I was going to use any carrot or celery or garlic, um, this is the point where I would add that as well and go ahead and sweat this with my clarified butter. We're not really trying to add uh, much color to the onions. Um, in our risotto video, we talked about that we wanted no color to the onions or to the grains. Um, we are gonna add just a slight amount of color uh, to the rice that we're using. Um, that's going to be okay, going to give us a nice toastiness. Um, but we're not really trying to fry our onions, just to give them a nice sweat. All right, our onions have begun to sweat. So I went ahead and I pre-rinsed uh, the rice for pilaf. I always uh, pre-rinse the grains. Uh, so what I did is in a colander under cold water, uh, I rinsed the rice, uh, kind of moving it around with my fingers until the water ran clear. Um, this is going to be important because the rinsing of the rice uh, removes the, uh, the starch on the outside. And with pilaf, whereas with risotto, we kind of want the, the rice holding together, right? We're relying on that starch to get that nice creaminess. With pilaf, we want the rice in individual grains. <laughs> and having that extra starch will make the rice want to clump, okay? Our next step is we're gonna toss the rice in this fat. This is also gonna help us get those individual grains, okay? Having those, that rice toss in the fat that we had in our pan. And I'm gonna to toast this rice in the pan until I get a nice fragrant nuttiness. I'm not trying to brown the rice, but if there is a little bit of color, uh, that's gonna be okay. Uh, but I'm really just gonna rely on my, my smell here uh, until I get that nice kind of toastiness that I'm looking for. All right, I have that nice toasty aroma. I'm gonna go ahead and add my hot chicken stock. Now that I've added in my liquid, I'm gonna turn my heat back up and bring the, the rice back up to a simmer. And because my liquid was hot and my pan was hot, you can see I'm already starting to get those simmering bubbles. I'm now gonna add just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt and pepper. Stir that in. All right, at this point, I'm gonna cover my peel off and now I can either finish my peel off uh, in the oven or on the stove top. Uh, for this video today, we're gonna go ahead and finish this uh, on the stove top. But if I was finishing it in the oven, it would be the same thing. I would just cover it with uh, a lid, or if I don't have a nice tight fitting lid with some aluminum foil and finish it uh, in the oven. So we're gonna let this uh, cook on the stove top until all the liquid is absorbed. Then we're gonna turn off the heat uh, and let it sit for about 10 minutes. So once the rice has cooked and sat for 10 minutes, we'll check back in with you. Okay, so uh, our rice cooked and then sat for about 10 minutes. And you can see this is what we're left with. Um, so the rice is kind of compact right now, but there's no liquid left inside. So what we need to do is we need to fluff the rice. Like we said, uh, whereas risotto is kind of, uh, all of the grains are kind of together, this we're looking for those individual grains. Uh, so 
what we did to do to achieve that is we rinsed the rice first, right? Then we tossed the rice in the fat, and now we're going to use a, a fork just to fluff the rice. And you can see what I'm not doing is I'm not like stirring, right? Uh, I'm just kind of fluffing it up, getting it all broken apart so that I have those nice individual grains. You can see this really expands the volume of the rice. And you can see how each of these grains is going to be a nice individual here. It's not all lumped together. So let's review. First, when making rice pilaf, start with rinsing your rice to remove any excess starch on the outside. Then, sweat your onions and toast the grains of pilaf, making sure to toss them completely in the fat. Finally, once the rice is cooked, allow it to set for 10 minutes before fluffing the rice with a fork to ensure nice individual grains of our pilaf.